Namaskaram. Welcome to P Gurus. I'm your host, JK. Recently, a bill was passed in the parliament, and it's about an amendment to IIM Act 2017. And there are some repercussions that we expect, but there was some debate as well on the House. Uh, let's listen to it, rather, hear about it more from retired professor of IIM Bangalore, Professor G. Ramesh. We are happy to have him for the first time in P. Gurus. Namaskaram. Thank you, <clears throat> JK. How are you? I mean, I'm doing, I'm doing excellent. How are you? Thank you. So we heard that you know, uh, there was a kind of a uh, tussle between the government as well as the institution. Uh, looks like the amendment will ensure the president to be a visitor of this institution and people have some problem with that and looks like they might also be asked to do some audit what, what exactly is the picture yeah so <clears throat> it's really not much even a tussle but a lot of murmurs let's say <laughs> okay 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 and then some coverage in media i think even in lok sabha there was not much discussion i think it'll get you know introduced in the rajya sabha next so there was an IM Act 2017, and this is an amendment bill 2023. It just seeks to do three things. That's all. One is that the chairman will be appointed by the visitor. Visitor here is president, probably on right. the advice of the government, let's say. Okay. That's generally the understanding. Right now, the board appoints the chairman. Chairman appoints the board. It's like that. Okay. So okay. you mutually <laughs> appoint the That's right. And then in the appointment of the director, now it is like it's internally done by the board and alumni representation and education is like that. So they have made that that will continue, but there will be a nominee of the government in the sel selection committee of the director. OK, mm -hmm. but it's appointed by the board, but then there will be a nominee of the government. OK, I think even in the board, there will be nominee of the government. OK, now they and already the board, have two. They yeah, already have one and the, the board state. is more yeah. diversified because now it has alumni and then public representatives and all that okay so that was the second one that's appointment of director third one it says visitor can order audit no we were always under the even when we were before that as a society okay we were audited by the cndg because we use public funds and it started with public fund support okay at least the senior i am don't get it but junior i, I mean not junior but the next generation I am still keep getting funds. Okay. The recent generation I am, they are still in the inception stage, you know. No, but it means probably the performance audit. Performance audit also, government can always order, like peer reviews and things like that. Maybe this more systematizes that. Okay. Now, this is all the interventions. And uh, <clears throat> I mean, if you want, I can summarize what triggered this. And what is the issue about? I mean, you know? Right. Now, what, what we have read is, you know, uh, there seems to be some kind of a misconception or misunderstanding right. uh, yeah. between government and, uh, and and the board of uh, no, the IAM board that a one year program is essentially yeah. not a degree. Right. So well, what do you think about it? So there were two issues which I saw newspapers discussing it. We really don't know what triggered the, you know, the bill. But one year issue is that one year degree program. Okay. So we had this one year management program for the working uh, working professional, but full time residential. Okay. Not non residential. Right. Okay. Normally, what happens this, I mean, even in US, it is four year plus one year. So the fifth year, you get a master's degree. But in India, since it's three year undergraduate, so they made it like two year postgraduate. Okay. Now, in this one year degree, yes, it's not probably as per the AICT, you know, regulations. But one qualification I would like to say that these are experienced professionals. So for the experience, you can always give concessions. Okay. So, but that is something AICT should revise its rule rather than expecting IAM to say that, no, no, all degrees should be only two years. Okay. Why should the two people with five year experience plus should really do two years of management if they can do it in one year. Okay. Second one, which I read in some papers is that government wants to push speedier, the recruitment of reserved people in the faculty quota. Okay. 
No, I can say that, I mean, I know internally what's happening in IIMs. <clears throat> they are taking massive efforts to increase the representation, the recruitment. And also we started the pre-doc pre program so that we prepare them to really get into PhD programs and then become faculty and all that. And recent few advertisements and all, if you look at from IIM, they are all for these people from the resort, you know, resort status and like that. Okay. So the IIMs have been doing that, may not be at the speed that they wanted, but it is happening. So I'm not sure what is it about. But one point I want to make, JK, which is probably not discussed anywhere, but it is my inference, I would say. The Act 2017 gave full autonomy to IIMs, unlike even IITs, I would say, like appointment of boards, formation of boards, then appointment of chairman, director, and all. What did happen? One, some of the appointments, the directors got reappointed, which is sort of unprecedented in IITs and IIMs. Okay. Right. Only in exceptional cases and brilliant cases, they will do, not as a default option. Okay. Now, what happens? He's a main decision maker, director, and a chairman is another main decision maker. Now, these boards have got really sterling board members. Okay. But all of them are managing their own big industries and institutions and fundings. And even the alumni are busy people. How much time they can really devote to the management of the institute is really, I mean, questionable, isn't it? So it became by default, fell on the shoulders of the chairman and the director. Now, the, the chairman is again a very busy person. So the director came to occupy a very pivotal position, the new position. And sometimes, you know, some of them got reappointed. I mean, I'm not saying they reappointed themselves, board appointed, obviously based on the performance. But this has not happened in the past before. Very rarely it has happened. Okay, rarest of the rare cases, if we can say. That is one aspect. Okay, second aspect I would say is that, you know, JK, when somebody gives you autonomy, it actually gives you more responsibility and accountability. Okay, you cannot treat it as, you know, less accountability. It actually increases your accountability, if you ask me. Because if I don't have autonomy, and if somebody asks for accountability, then I'll say, sorry, I don't have autonomy, isn't it? But sadly, some of the senior IAM, senior, you know, first generation IAMs, you know, you don't have to cop, you have to minimum cooperate with the government, okay? But don't confront the government consciously, okay? Don't make it like, a, you know, you want to be like a somebody, you know, you can look independent, but you don't have to really confront government to be independent. You know, you can always collaborate and then be independent. Okay. To be fair enough to the governments, I would say both UP and NDA government, JK, they are never interfered in that academic autonomy. Okay. For example, they will never tell you about faculty recruitment, whom to recruit or something. They are never interfered in the admission process of the students. Okay, they are never interfered in the academic processes like what courses offer, what programs to offer. So we can decide and offer programs and things like that. But voluntarily, we used to be compatible with the guidelines of the AACT. Okay, though AACT approval is not required. So that's why this one year degree came into play. But third aspect, I would say what could have, what has happened post this act is that, you know, JK, all said and done, ideally, globally, institutes are run by the faculty not even so much by the board, not even so much by the government. Now, under the previous regime, faculty had some role, you know, but some of the faculty also seem to feel that their role is reduced because certain decisions are taken, you know, by the current directors. I don't want to name which I am, which director, which the faculty felt, you know, they were not consulted or it was not up to their, you know, what I can say, up to their expectations. So these are the issues that probably, you know, could have triggered government, you know, pe even people like me, you know, send letters to the government in some, on some occasions and like that. Another aspect, which is always pending, in fact, one professor, Dolakya, Ahmedabad director, so he was my professor when I was a student in I am Ahmedabad. He has said that, you know, there has to be also formal performance review process of the directors and board. For example, I was in the board of a bank. There was a performance pro, you know, re review of the MD, CMD, ED, and then the board, like even independent directors reviewing each other. Surprisingly, even for last six years, I, do, I am not sure, 
I would like to be corrected. I don't think any of these IIMs really set up any review mechanisms of their performances, either of the board or of the directors. So people can ask questions. And uh, so that's why probably government might have felt that. I mean, let us still have a, you know, say on that. You know, they don't want a control of that, but they definitely want to have a say so that if things go out of turn, then probably they would like to guide or indicate or direct. You know? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I guess that's a, a elaborate answer to my question. Uh, in fact, let's let just look at the compromise. Do you think it's a compromise? Uh, because I am being a premier institute and we would like to look at it that way. The government's mm -hmm. position to push people uh, based on reservations, right? Do you think it, it's going to affect uh, the performance because you're talking about the performance now. Do you think that that will have some impact on the performance? No, incidentally, even globally, this is all discussed. Affirmative action is an accepted thing, even globally in institutions. And we also see it positively in even in our faculty body, even before this became, man, you know, it's sort of they are trying to push it aggressively, this government institutions have been trying to recruit but the thing is like we need to first produce the phds you know and even these people probably even they should explore going abroad or getting phds from premier institutions like iits and iims and like that so there is a supply issue now which we are trying to improve the supply issues also through our phd programs and pre-doctor program i know for sure personally like iit chennai started some program to you know improve it so this is happening. So that way, that issue, we don't have any issue. After all, we have the students' reservations. And I'm sure the quality of these people, whoever we take, will be equally good, you know. But then we are not able to, they are not able to do at the same pace that the government would like them to do, you know. And I don't know, even a direct control of the institute, how we can improve the situation, unless we have a supply, you know, enough supply. Yeah. 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 So uh, because we are talking about education and the quality yeah. of education, one thing that yeah. uh, the UPA did, because uh, we, we find that you also appreciate the UPA's efforts not to interfere in IEMs, uh, autonomy of yeah. IEMs. Yeah. But in IIT, uh, they kind of somehow pushed or uh, uh, sleazily, uh, maybe maybe slightly, they have kind of pushed uh, the arts and science in IITs. Do you think it's a good move or you know, because it's kind of diluted the uh, entire uh, IITs, the, the, the quality of IITs? Okay, one point I missed out on the, your earlier question is that one thing I should say in favor of all these IIMs post this 2017 Act is that which papers also mentioned is that the IIMs have improved the ranking globally, you know, and nationally also they have been in, improving. Nationally, not much because there's hardly much of competition. Correct. But globally, <laughs> they have been improving even above 50 ranks and things like that which is appreciable given all the constraints and like that. I mean, you know, so, so that, has helped. yeah, autonomy is helped, but uh, it didn't improve. I mean, the, <clears throat> I would say that uh, did the research improve? I'm not sure. Okay. That's why you need really a external review to see if the research efforts have improved and like that, you know, so that's still a question, but you asked about the arts program and then they call it humanities and social science Correct. hss yeah. department yeah. and um, then there's another department which is opening which is my specialization incidentally jk policy which is making. public policy public <laughs> policy <laughs> right so we don't, okay. you know so the the point is uh, yes this is um, it has to be you know people are asking questions about that for example you know if you ask me let's say the science department, technology departments and IITs, you know, if you're from chemistry, physics and all that, the entry barrier is also very high, you know, and uh, even the, it's most preferred by the B-Tech students and M-Tech students and all that, okay. But I, I mean, I would say, I don't know, I mean, if I can make a statement, but I've been asking the government through this P guru, I'm again making a request to the HRD Ministry or Ministry of Education, to have a peer review of all this HSS department and public policy department across IIT, because public policies at least last four or five years, but HSS has been there for the last 20 years in all these universities. Somehow, they have not been able to create a brand of themselves. Like, if you see IIT is known for something, IIT Chennai, 
IIT Kanpur is known for something. IIT Bombay is known for something. Can you tell me any IIT which is known for HSS? Can you tell me any IIMs or IITs which is known for public policy and like that? So it requires a review, but I have one request to you, JK. I mean, we should discuss this separately one day because a lot of issues I want to really communicate to both the you know people at, outside and to the alumni and through that to the government that something needs to be really seriously done about the you know the emphasis of these schools the focus of these schools and then you know what the government may have to do probably you know right okay so yeah. uh, which 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 is more like you are saying that you're going to be back again uh, with us once one more time to discuss uh it, it may be in detail about what both what IIMs and IITs both IITs, IIMs and IITs we can discuss I mean, you know okay and this has been i've been raising in several forums i have written to the ministry also you know that it needs a strong peer review of all the you know iits of the hss department you know and then the public policy department also and then i have made some point maybe next time when we discuss i'll tell you what are the issues that made i made in the letter and like that you know right okay hope somebody yeah. from the government is looking into this and at least listen to you and make some at least reach out to you and maybe do something about it so no, thank don't you very worry. much for your time i will share it with the government don't worry about that <laughs> that, that, that that would be great please please yeah, come back yeah. to us you know uh, with what, what you have received from them sure uh, maybe any solutions that they have come out with so thank you once again uh i guess we we just saw that iam act 2017 has been amended to iam uh, act 2023 where the president is going to be a visitor and hopefully i guess i understand from what you said that you, you are in sync with what the government is doing. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, Approach thank you. Time. Thanks a lot. Thanks for this. Look forward.